Hello again, and welcome to the latest bulletin from Haverhill UK News, brought to you by Haverhill TV. In the news for today, Tuesday, December the 11th, the public forum of Haverhill Safer Neighbourhood team is requesting the traffic supremo who killed high street pedestrianisation hopes to come and explain himself to them. Havery has announced £2 million plans for a new development for over 55s to replace its William Blake Court sheltered housing, and how Haverhill's big night out pulled in thousands of people for shopping and fireworks. The public forum of Haverhill Safer Neighbourhood team wants to deliver its fury at the ending of hopes for high street pedestrianisation direct to the man responsible. Last night's meeting demanded its chairman, Tim Marks, write to Councillor Guy McGregor, Suffolk County Council's portfolio holder for transport, and request him to come and explain his arbitrary decision that the idea of pedestrianisation should not be pursued any further now, made after he attended a private meeting in Haverhill from which the town's police chief was excluded. Residents were livid to hear how Inspector Peter Ferry, reporting back on his efforts to enforce parking and traffic regulations in High Street, was specifically not allowed in to the meeting Councillor McGregor held on the issue. They have regularly insisted Inspector Ferry keep this as one of his three priorities for policing in the town, when he has told them it is a waste of his officers' time because it doesn't stop the illegal behaviour of motorists. Residents chanted, Rubbish! after hearing of Inspector Ferry's exclusion and agreed it was unfair Haverhill County Councillor Tim Marks, who chairs the forum and yet was also excluded from the meeting, should have to face the flack for a decision which was not his. They insisted instead that he write to Councillor McGregor and get him to come to their meeting and copy the letter to the leader of the County Council, Councillor Mark B, and its Chief Executive Deborah Cadman. Haverhill Housing has announced plans for a £2 million redevelopment of a site including its bungalows in Withersfield Road as housing for over 55s to replace William Blake Court sheltered housing unit. The 1960s unit in Cambridge Close will be closed when the new development is completed, hopefully at the end of 2014. It is part of a review of the housing provider's social housing in Haverhill which led to the announcement of investment in William Blake Court and in Westbourne Court in Millfields Way which was built over 30 years ago. A block along the road frontage and a cul-de-sac development on land behind on the other side of the stream are envisaged, creating five bungalows and 21 and two bedroom flats. Police in Haverhill are appealing for witnesses after a spate of car tyre damage in the town. The police have received 11 reports of cars having their tyres slashed on the Birds part of the Chalkston estate. The incidents happened overnight on Saturday to Sunday in Gannett Close, Kingfisher Close, Woodcock Close, Turn Close and Erriswell Road. 12 cars were affected with 19 tyres in total being slashed with an unknown object. If you have any information you can contact PC Will Wright or leave a message at Samuel Ward Academy most days or ring 101 or email haverhillsnt at suffolkpolice.pnn.co.uk And finally, of course, thousands of people flocked into Haverhill Town Centre on Friday night for family Christmas night, the late shopping event followed by the annual grand fireworks display. Shops stayed open late and there were stalls and entertainers in the street as well as fun fair amusements. Haverhill Choral Society sang carols in Costa Coffee for much of the event, which ran from 5pm to 8pm, and was followed by the fireworks display on the recreation ground. The whole event was sponsored by Haverhill Town Council, and Town Mayor Councillor Pat Hanlon led the countdown for the start of the fireworks, which were on the theme of Britain's Summer of Success, including the Jubilee and the Olympics. As always, the fireworks were amazing, and the crowd was huge. The event kicked off a weekend of events put on by the Town Council. On Saturday there was ice skating on the Market Square and a special visit from Reindeer. And if you haven't done so already, you can watch video footage of Friday night's activities on this website. That's all for today, but join us again on Friday. And meantime, go to www.haverhilluk.co.uk for daily updates. And here is the weather for the rest of the week. <laughs>